One, two, three, four. Hey YouTube, I cannot stop listening to this new Chris Stapleton album. Today we're going to be looking at You Should Probably Leave. If you're wondering how to play those really neat R&B bluesy licks, this video is right up your alley. Let's jump into it. The first lick to You Should Probably Leave, you're going to play a double stop on the ninth fret of your G string and B string. And you're going to hammer on the tenth fret of your B string. And you'll pull it off real quick, just like that. And then you'll play the 9 of the G. Play the 9 again and hammer on the 11th fret of that G string and pull it off. And then you're going to do a real quick slide on the D string going from your 11th fret down to the 9th fret. Then play the 7. Then 7th fret of your A string, hammer on to the 9. And then 7th fret of your D string. So real slow, two, three, four. Again. Okay, then you're into the verse of the song. It's going to start with a F sharp minor chord, and you're just going to pick the notes out here. So one, two, three, and then go to the A chord. One, two, three, and you're going to do a backbeat on this chord. And I usually start that at the B string and just real quick, and then loosen my grip on the A. So watch that right here. This finger is going to loosen its grip. You can also use your hand to mute that. Then you're going to go to the D chord, back to the A, F, one, two, three, A, two, two, back, one, two, three, A, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And in the chorus, Chris Stapleton's going to sing, I know you. And that part sounds like this in the background. So that's very similar to your opening riff. It's another double stop on the G and B string at the ninth fret, but you're gonna let this ring a little longer. And you'll play it a second time and hammer on that 10th fret on the B string. And then with this finger, you're gonna use it to lay down the E string and get the high note on your ninth fret of that E string so you can get the back beat in there and have that nice high things going on so it's then you drop down to the seventh fret play D and your G string and then let that pinky finger off down to the sixth fret of your G string and then you repeat it Play it three times, second time, third time here, then play your opening riff. Again. And then you have the bridge to the song, he plays a D bar chord.
So all you're doing there, it's just the fifth fret of your A string, seventh of the D string, seventh of the G string, seventh of the D string again, and you just repeat that little cycle. One, two, three, four. Drop your fifth fret down to the fourth fret on the A string. And then you drop down to the B chord, second fret A string, fourth fret D string, fourth fret G string. Then come back up, fourth fret of the A string, seventh fret D and G. And then you repeat your D chord here with the fifth fret on the A string four times. Play that lick again. And the second time around, he plays an E chord. And then you're at the guitar solo, which sounds like this. Second part of the solo. Sorry, second part of the solo. So to play that, you're going to start on your low E string, open, one fret, second fret, open A, second fret of the A, play that second fret again and slide up to the four, and then slide it back down to the two, open A, second fret A, open A, Second fret, slide up to the fourth. Play the fourth again. Slide the fourth down to the second. Open A. Second fret A. Open A. Open. Low E. Hammer on the second fret. And then open A. So real slow, the first part. Two, three. Two, three. Second part of the solo, you're going to start at the second fret of your D string, hammer on the fourth. Play the second fret, fourth fret of your A string, play it twice and on the second time you're going to slide down to the second fret, open A, come back up to the fourth fret, slide down to the second fret, and you play that three times. So we just did it twice, here's the third time. Open A, then hammer on the second fret of your low E string and then at open A again. So that real slow sounds like this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Alright, and the last piece of the song, very similar to the intro, it's the last lick here that he plays, it sounds like this. So to do that, you're going to play the double stop, uh, your ninth fret of the B string and G string again, hammer on that 10th fret and pull it off real quick. And then play the 9 of the G string. And here's where it differs from the intro lick. You're going to play the 9th fret of your D string, hammer on the 11th. 9th fret of your G string, play it twice, and the second time you pluck it, you're going to hammer on the 11th fret. Back down to the 9. Quick slide from your 11 to the 9 on the D string. 
7th fret. So that real slow sounds like this. So let's take that slow, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I know it's late. I know you, you know me Hey, thanks for watching the video today. Hope you learned something. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps me make more guitar lesson videos for you. And don't forget to pop over to smellytelly.com. I got more guitar lessons for you there. We'll see you next time. Take care.